Sylvester Stallone is born July 5th. And his favorite food is pizza. If we put this in the oven and we have thin crust, no good. I don't know if this thing's gonna burn. I got no clue. Like, I've never made a pizza in my life. Sylvester Stallone, Tulsa King, this one's for you. Happy birthday. I've got the dough here. What do I do here with the dough? Do I, I see this stuff. Maybe you gotta let this thing breathe. Maybe pierce it, I don't know. Again, I've never made a pizza. And um, it's gonna, it's gonna be old school, thick. So, ooh, I'm pretty good at this. I actually am pretty good at this. I'm all over the map. Um, I gotta stretch it, I guess. But I want it thick. And this is not helping. So, I'll move this guy out. And as they say, you gotta put a bit of elbow grease in there. So I'm stretching, look at the bubbling. What's that bubbling from? And the more I'm stretching, the more I'm seeing the bottom here. So, and it's bubbling. I don't know, like again, I, I don't know. Like I've never made a pizza, I've never made dough. I had a bakery, I didn't even know how the dough was made. This is absolutely nuts. Maybe they do this stuff, because I see how pizza's done. But I can't even get the crust right. Maybe I'll go in here and start from here, because this thing has been a disaster. I can't make pizza. Uh, it's fucking gooey. There you go, look at that. Look at that, look at this. I'm getting somewhere. This is actually not bad. Look, and I'm, I'm even getting a crust. This is unbelievable. How do these guys do this? It's too labor intensive. It's, wow, look at this. All right, I'm gonna wash the hands. I don't know why. And um, I'm gonna see what else I got here. I got all the stuff I grew up with, a bit of walnuts, a bit of fig. I can't believe that this is happening. What is today, Monday? You know what? Fuck it. Let's call it Meatless Monday. You got a bit of fig, you got a bit of uh, chestnuts, and uh, walnuts. And look at that. This is actually better than friggin' pizza. This is amazing because as I'm telling you this, I realize I never turned on the oven. So give me one sec. Um, oh my God, now my hand's sticky. I'm not done here yet. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna do something crazy. Italian cherries, amarena cherries. That's what's missing, something sweet. Fuck it, we'll do the whole thing. We don't want garbage here. And as that's happening, I think we are missing a couple things here. Something more sweet around the edge. We've got this pure maple syrup we can drizzle it with, which I didn't pay that much for. It's a good price. $16.99, which is like $2 for the Americans. So I'm just putting a maple syrup uh, glaze on the side. Just like that, we have a beautiful, beautiful mess on our hands. I'm gonna throw this in the oven. It weighs a friggin' ton. So um, I have a name for it, Two Ton Betty. That's what we're gonna call this. There you go. All right. Might be burnt a little. Yeah, what else can go wrong? <laughs> I've just been advised the pizza might be burning. I'm gonna go grab that. Guys, it's a, it's a beauty. It's a beauty. Ah! This, this is amazing. This is quite amazing. This is quite amazing. Amazing, and I can't believe that this is this nice. Um, I don't know what to do with it. Okay, I was gonna make a pizza, I've never made one. And uh, Sylvester Stallone was born July 5th, and his favorite food is a pizza, and I was gonna honor him with a pizza. So 
I get the pizza dough, I don't know what I'm doing. One of my favorite dishes my mother would make would be called burek. And I didn't realize this is actually turned out like a burek. A burek we make is kind of stuffed with cheese. And um, I'm not gonna be able to have anything because this is the worst part about the dog is when they pant, she's gonna get the first bite of Stallone's pizza, a deep dish, all right? And that's it. So now we've got this pizza, which now I realize is pull apart bread. And you know what? It's not bad. Hey, Curly. And I just saved on dog food. So let's get on the inside of the pizza. Mmm, really good. Really, really good. What's not good is the dough. But I'm really loving this interior. This is the worst pizza in the world. But one of the best experiences I've had. Like it's, it's not a pizza, but it's good. What inspired me when things were tough was the uh, famous Sylvester Stallone story. He wrote the movie Rocky and uh, he was trying to sell the uh, script and he had no money, but he had a beloved dog. He couldn't afford to get him food anymore. That's how bad it was. And the worst moment for him was he went down to the liquor store and he sold the dog. He needed to eat, he needed to survive. So what happens, maybe a week or so passes, he gets the deal, and I believe it was $30,000 at the time they're gonna give him for the script. And um, I'm not sure these numbers, but what happened was he went right back to the liquor store to go buy the dog back. So he told the guy, I wanna buy my dog back. The guy goes, no. And then he tells him, I'll give you this much money, I'll give you this much money, I'll give you this much money. He ends up buying the dog back for almost what the script cost. In the end, he made sure the dog got a part in the movie, um, uh, Butkus, and that's the dog you see in the movie. And he, he made sure that they said they wanted to get an actor, Ryan O'Neill, uh, to play him. And he says, you don't get it, I'm Rocky. And um, so he stuck and he got to be the actor, the writer and the director. And that's when he was at his toughest. He had to sell his dog, but he went to buy it back. And uh, it's, it's a great story, and that's why I'll always love and respect Sylvester Stallone. And um, what I won't love and respect is this attempt at a pizza. I apologize to you. And what I do also respect about you is you had this rivalry with Schwarzenegger, and you guys are very much cut from the same cloth. You're both driven. You're both um, men's men. And... Um, I like the fact that you guys put everything behind you. You had a friendly rivalry and that uh, you guys can do what I'm going to do tonight. And that is have a good laugh and have a good cigar. And what else is there, you know, other than good food, terrible pizza, a dog you love, and um, a great cigar. Anyway, happy birthday, Sly. All the best. Sorry about the pizza. I tried. Arnold, I love you. All the best. Thank you, guys. Have a good evening.